Hi, it's Claire from The Speech Bubble. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about some ideas for listening cues to use in the classroom. So, as we know, attention and listening skills form the foundation or building blocks for language development. And they're one of the first skills we'd evaluate and take into consideration during an assessment. So for younger children who do have difficulties tuning in and listening, a simple resource I like to use are active listening cards. So good listening. Um, quite often telling a child to listen can be an abstract concept. So it's good to break down um, the key components and show exactly what we mean when we say good listening. So this would be good thinking, good looking, good sitting and good turn taking also. And I like to use these to um, explicitly praise these behaviours. So when you see a child doing good looking, you'd show the card and go, oh, well done, that was really good looking. Um, it's good to display these maybe around the classroom or have them on a lanyard. Um, so you've got them on, ha on hand to prompt and to reinforce. Um, another activity I like to use for listening skills are barrier games. Um, and these come in many different forms. Basically, they involve following an instruction when you only presented with verbal information, so there's no visual reinforcement. Um, I like to do this as a group activity, so I'll maybe have three children sat around a table and the barrier between them so they can't see what each other are doing might just be a book, for example. I'll give them um, a plain bit of paper with a face drawn on but with no features on the face. I'll then give them lots of coloured pens and start to deliver instructions. So I'll say, draw um, blue eyes on your face. I then might say, draw bright pink spiky hair on your face, um, draw a yellow nose on your face. And then at the end, we'll take the barriers down and all the children will look at each other's work and see if they're the same. Um, and crucially, if they are, that means they've been listening. So you can have fun with that and make it your own, but that's quite a nice one to do at home or in the classroom. So I hope that's given you some ideas um, to develop listening skills. Um, keep following us this week to find out more on the topic of listening.